didn't know what you wanted But you don't even trust yourself We were so, we were so, we were so high up in love But not enough to bring us back from where we fell Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a different type of video. I'm going to be doing a week in the life instead of a day in the life because a lot of you guys have been questioning seeing like what I do on a normal day-to-day -day basis with my family as well as in my job. And I say jobs because as like I'm dressed right now, I'm going into the hospital where I do work pretty um, and then later in the week I am going to be going to the prison. We do have a couple of things planned today. Um, so we need to get the family car cleaned because we took a road trip and it's kind of grody because my kiddos dropped crumbs and stuff all over it that's fine um and then i gotta get my oil changed hopefully we can make it to the gym this week just because my week is a little more hectic than normal um and then yeah hopefully i'll be bringing you along for all of that if you guys have any questions definitely leave a comment down below or if you guys have individual questions that you don't want everybody to see definitely leave me a dm on my instagram also if you guys are applying to corrections or working corrections or have any individual questions about like the hiring process definitely leave a comment on my dm yeah definitely dm me and i'll make sure i answer those on my instagram hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on because here there's always been more fun to go to know what i'm missing but i dream of something more and i might be down to help them fight for a mission if i knew what all the fighting was for Cause you got an endless list of twists when things aren't going your way You got them convinced the facts are fiction, different spin every day I'm not gonna tell you what you're missing, you wouldn't listen anyway But now that I'm here I've got something to say This is the last chance to tell you that I'm not coming back It's the last chance to prove with my vision so I have peanut butter and yogurt just vanilla yogurt that I froze so it's like ice cream but that's gonna be my dessert stir fry just with quinoa couldn't find the top protein bar and my daughter threw up in my purse, so I can't use it. My meal, zero calories. Obviously, my water bottle. My phone is still going here, and then my camera bottle. So we're currently in this office right now because our main office is infested by bed bugs. I'm so disgusted right now. So we're just doing our documentation here, and then going to see our patients out in the emergency department, obviously. Um, yeah, I'm just so disgusted right now. I better not bring one of these little friends home. Um, I'm yeah, because it's like impossible to get rid of. Those are like my biggest fear, which is why I have white sheets because I'm like terrified of getting them. In my thought, I'm like, if I have white sheets and I can see them, if they're on my bed, right? I would think so. I don't know. But in my head, it makes sense, so yeah. But yeah, I don't want to bring any of these little friends home. We've been trying to plan on um, one of our favorite doctors are, is currently moving back to California. So we're just party planning. Yeah, hopefully it's a good shift. I'm halfway through it. I can feel you in my heart. You in my heart. Oh. I can feel. I don't want to go nowhere. I go to my bed, wake up, 
Let's go to the gym. We're dressed for the gym. I'm going to the gym. Yeah. But then she said, oh, let's go get oil change. So that's what we're doing right now. Okay, so we're doing oil change. right now make your car look clean nice things does one person have I have one two three four oh where's that where's that thing we got from Barbados huh show them yeah guys look we went to Barbados bring on this yeah I say bring shot glasses but he likes these stupid things but I don't even put them on my fridge Cause I think it looks Look nasty. Good. Look at that. Look at all my crumbs. What kids do. Why is your controller <laughs> Currently on my way to the prison, getting my oil changed and my car cleaned out went really smoothly. However, on our way home, there was an accident, so we got stuck in a lot of traffic. So I literally only had time to shower, do some hygiene, and get dressed. So I was like, I might as well just do my hair and makeup in the car so I can look somewhat presentable at work. It's a very normal occurrence for me to actually do my hair and makeup in the car when I'm pinching time. And yes, I'm making this little bit of foundation last. I realized I was completely out. But don't worry, later in this video, I do end up going by some more. Nobody be alarmed. I'm fixing my nose ring, not to get my nose. Too damn good. You gave me love and you ran away. Are you gone? Too gone. When I know you're not alone, I can't help but feel alone. When you say. I actually got this ponytail from Amazon. It's about $20. I'll link it in my storefront. It's just so convenient to actually kind of look presentable when you're going somewhere and just literally throw it on with a clip. Fit check. I have my figs and my Jordans. These are doing their own thing. My patients, I've done a bunch of wound care. Um, charted on them. Done for some PPDs. For boba. So good. And I always have... I stay with that. I eat always like funky food. So. You come looking for I don't care about the scene I don't care about the location All that matters not to me That you wherever I go, baby I just need you by my side Yeah That's until the day I die Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video so far. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Like I said, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Also, make sure you guys go follow my Instagram account at Jamboreekin, which is at the bottom of the screen. We're almost at 9,000 followers. And like I said, if you guys ever have individual questions, I do always answer them in my DMs. 
One thing about insurers here is that we have to watch the inmates drink it in front of us, which is a bit of a hassle because it takes med pass a little longer. But the theory is that people are trading them or they're getting creative in using the bottle or caps as some type of weapon. Then we just pose of a medical because inmates do not clean the medical unit. I don't even care about the way they're looking at us because I know they wish they had it and they know we're doing damage to the game. I don't care about the stereotype. I can never do it mono with a stereotype. I'm talking left, right, link. I'm talking left hand ring. I'm talking this right here forever. We ain't here just for the summer. Always on 10. We ain't never had to come up. Young right now, but we gon' watch the numbers run up. Honestly, I love the way you carry it. It was an easy decision. I had to marry it. Honeymoon, I'ma put you on a chariot. And they don't make them like you no more. No pressure. I can see I'm watching and they try to do better. But you one in a million, you ain't average. Girl, I promise I'ma have you living lavish. Take a trip, girl, we're about to vanish. Cause I'll go anywhere. Anywhere. Always, always, always make sure you document. If you don't document, it didn't happen. And documentation, I swear, will save you in the court of law if something occurred. I don't know if it's the social worker in me, but I always over document things. Any interaction I have with anybody, their behavior, their moods, their body language, what they're saying, anything I document. Fun fact, my first job as a social worker with my undergrad degree was I worked for the Department of Children and Family Services. And once a week, sometimes more, I would have to go to court and testify on the protective factor of the parents. And I think that's where my over documentation comes from because we would literally get questioned about everything on the case. What family members we look for, positive drug screens, history of abuse and stuff like that. That job was pretty difficult emotionally. I literally did one year and one day there. As some of you guys remember, I was in the foster care system as a child. So me, I wanted to see the opposite end of the system, which is why I decided to work there. And in that time working there, I realized, you know, I was not the biggest fan of it. That's okay. But in that time, I also was getting my master's degree in social work because I was in the accelerated program, which was only a year. So I literally did once my year was up in grad school, I was done with the job. So then after that year, I applied for the hospital position as a social worker and I've completely loved it since. Just making sure everything's locked up for the next shift to come in. This medication fridge has insulin and I am out of van and there are needles in here, which is why now we're keeping it locked. And then as you guys know, we have to count all the sharpies to make sure they're all accounted for. So it's the next day and I'm have to take one of my little kiddos to the dentist. So one of his molars is growing into his back molar, so he has to get one of his teeth extracted. He's so funny. He is my very calm and compliant child, so anything the dentist says, he will probably do. So I have no concerns about him. And we brought little Dino for emotional support. So my little stinker did so well. Like I said, he is such a champ. He's so compliant. He's such a sweetie. But the one thing I love about this dentist's office is that it has a play park inside of it. So after he gets his teeth cleaned and obviously now that he got his tooth extracted, we decided to play for 30 minutes and then we go down the street to Dollar Tree and then he, I know I'm the best mom, he can get any three things that he wants. I know I'm so cool. And since we were in the city, we decided to pick up some Chick-fil-A. I am like obsessed with the kale crunch. And then we're gonna have a car oh picnic God. with my husband it's and so then we're gonna go home. The kale crunch is so good, delicious. But then I also get like the nuggets, but I get them grilled. Mm -hmm. Is it hard to chew? 
his face was still a little numb, so that's why he's chewing like that. He normally does not chew like that. But you know, when kids are hungry, they act like they're starving to death and that they're going to pass right there and then. And I can't deal with that driving an hour and a half home. foundation even my backup foundation as you guys seen I was like pushing it on me so I'm just at CVS normally I would get cover girl oh here you go and I am T done so right now I'm just getting ready to go to work I'm about to pick up some food because I did not have time to cook. Um, but that's okay. That is fine. Um, I'm either going to pick up Moe's or I'm going to pick up a Poke Bowl. You guys know how I love my Poke Bowls. Call husband eat dough. normally leave actually um because typically i work from like 8 p.m to 3 a.m um but i'm tired and i'm only per diem here so hopefully you guys enjoy that vlog make sure you like share and subscribe and can't wait to see you in my next week in the life